My name is Benaz Farahi, and I lead the Critical Matter Research Group here at the MIT Media Lab. In the Critical Matter Research Group, we envision a future for design that goes beyond the mere application of technology. Instead, we use the technology in a more critical and transformative way. We spark imaginations, provoke conversations, enhance human perceptions, augment social interaction, and hopefully empower voices that have not been heard. We focus on exploring the intersection of design, critical thinking, and technology. We work across the design scales, from fashion and wearables, to architecture, to public art installations. These projects will be inspired by morphology, as well as intelligent behavior of natural systems. Our group's name, Critical Matter, has two different meanings. Firstly, it refers to critical issues, important matters, but it also refers to essential material research, in a more scientific and technical context. In our group, we will explore various research areas, including critical design, new materials, machine perceptions, robotic and novel fabrications, and interactive design. I start with the critical design. We are inspired by critical thinking on ways that design could be used as a vehicle to ask questions and challenge dominant outlooks. The aim is to address larger social, cultural, and environmental issues of our time. Specifically, we engage with issues of human identities, emotions, embodiments, feminism, and lastly, participatory design. For instance, a 3D printed cape, which uses gaze tracking and smart materials to respond to onlookers' gaze, is not only a piece of technological innovation, but also addresses broader gender social issues, such as the male gaze on the female body. In Critical Matter Group, we also develop new materials using digital fabrications, 3D printing, biomaterials, and algorithmic design tools. Inspired by natural systems such as hair, feather, and fish scale systems, we are inspired to create materials that vary their properties from soft to hard. They can be soft and flexible when it needs to be. They can be active instead of passive, especially in response to their surrounding environments. We're also working with various forms of AI and sensory technologies, including biometric sensors, such as brain-computer interface, to various facial and gaze tracking technologies to recognize how machines see us and whether they're able to interface with us in an emotional level by analyzing and detecting our physiological responses. We're also exploring robotics and the use of industrial robotic arms, not only for human-robot interaction, but also using it for novel robotic custom-made fabrication techniques. Lastly, we explore interactive environments in order to create new type of relationships between the human body and the built environment. These environments are equipped with AI, sensors, and various actuation systems, which can track and respond to human movements, gestures, words, or even our emotional states. You might wonder why critical matter matters. Conventionally, most material research are informed by latest advancements in technology, science, and engineering, primarily addressing the question of efficiency. But too often, this approach is disconnected from social sciences and humanities. At the Critical Matter Group, we want to bring these two worlds together, creating innovative work which is grounded in scientific and material research while having transformative and critical social impact.